we shall discuss about the brachial plexus. The key to diagnose the the position of the or better to say identify the position of the brachial plexus, we have several keys. First key, one nerve is piercing the coracobrachialis muscle. So this is that nerve and this is the musculocutaneous nerve and this nerve pierces the muscle, it is called coracobrachialis muscle. So the innervation of the coracobrachialis is by means of the musculocutaneous nerve. If you follow the musculocutaneous nerve above, then you will get the lateral cord here. You get the lateral cord, lateral cord. From the lateral cord, you will get the lateral root of the median nerve. This is the lateral root of the median nerve, median nerve. So now we are in the median nerve. So this is our median nerve. Median nerve is this. This is median nerve. Then median nerve has one lateral root. Then it has one median root. Then follow the median root. Then you will get the medial cord. The most important stru structure from the median, me median, medial cord is the ulna nerve. Ulna nerve, so this is our ulna nerve. Ulna nerve is going to the, along the path of the medial epicondyle of the humerus. So again, when you study the structures like this here, you see we are getting one, one M. M is coming from, from, this is the musculocutaneous. This is the, the lateral root of the median. This is the media, median root of the of the median. Then this is the ulna. So you got the M from here, 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 here. So then it is easy for us to, to identify other structure. So we got the lateral cord. We got the we have this, we have got the the medial cord. So these two cords in relation to the axillary artery. See, this is the axillary artery. The cord lateral to it is lateral cord. The cord medial to is the medial cord. So one cord is behind the artery, that is our posterior cord. So this is the this is this cord is behind the artery. Just this is the artery, and the cord behind is is the posterior cord. So now we'll we'll study the nerves from the posterior cord. Posterior cord, it has two most important important nerves. One is radial nerve. You see, it is going along the spiral group of the radius. So this is our radius spiral group in between the head, lateral head and the medial head of the triceps muscle. So this is our radial nerve. So this is the radial nerve. And if you follow the upper part again, the posterior cord, then we'll get the axillary nerve. You see, this is the axillary nerve. This is our axillary nerve. This is the nerve passes through the surgical neck of the humerus. So if you follow this thing, you're getting it. This is the axillary nerve. This nerve that comes from the posterior cord. So if you follow this, you're getting the posterior cord here. This is the posterior cord, posterior cord. And if you follow this, you get the radial nerve also coming from the posterior cord. So if you like this, if you follow this, this is the radial nerve going through the spiral group of the humerus and this is our axillary nerve. Axillary nerve, nerve passes along the surgical neck of the humerus with the posterior circumflex humeral branch of the axillary artery. So this is the posterior circumflex humeral branch of the axillary artery. artery. So we got the nerve. There is some antibrachial cutaneous nerve from the medial cord, antibrachial cutaneous nerve of the of the arm and forearm. This is the, this is the intervical cutaneous nerve of the forearm. One is for the arm. And most upper part, you may get the, the intercostal brachial nerve in the, at, the, at the floor of the axilla. We have not found here. here. And when you study the brachial plexus, you see this is, these are coming from the ventral primary rami of the cervical nerve. Cervical nerve, nerve 5, 6, 7, 8, and T1. And also contributed by cervical 4 may be contributed by T2. This passes between the scalenius interior muscle. So this is our scalenius interior muscle is here. Scalenius anterior. Behind is the scalenius medius. So the plane between scalenius medi medius and scalenius anterior is a plane for these nerve, nerve roots here. And these nerves supply all the muscles here. You see the musculocutaneous nerve is supplying these muscles. So this is our crocobacalis. It is a flexor of the shoulder joint. This is our biceps brachii. It is, it, it is the chief supernator of the forearm plus flexor of the 
of the of the elbow joint elbow joint biceps brachii muscle and this is the brachialis muscle brachialis muscle is this this is our brachialis muscle this is innervated its motor innervation by means of this musculoskeletal nerve its red its uh, proprioceptive innervation proprioceptive innervation by means of the radial nerve radial nerve actually supplies lateral part mainly proprioception but motor function is done by means of the musculoskeletal nerve and this is the chief flexor of the of the elbow joint elbow joint then this is the back muscle and this is our triceps muscle the triceps brachii muscle one important nerve we must not forget this is the long thoracic nerve long thoracic nerve innervates the innervates the serratus anterior muscle and this nerve is coming from the root if you follow this you will get this coming from the root of the brachial plexus from the cervical 5 6 7 7 and this is our this muscle is the the is the subscapularis muscle this is our subscapularis muscle innervated by upper and lower subscapular nerve 